Hello, this is uh, the first video module for ITL 207, Networking Foundations. And uh, today what I want to do is show you a little bit about the YED Graph Editor. Just fire it up, it's just like any other program. It runs on Java, so you can run it on pretty much anything that you want, which is convenient. I'm using it on a Windows operating system, as you can see. And it's a very convenient application for drawing graphs, which is something that we'll do in this class uh, quite a bit. So what I'll do, I mean, the course of the, uh, the module today is I'll walk you through uh, some basic aspects of the software, show you a little bit about the kinds of things that we'll do with graphs. So we'll learn a little bit about dyads and triads and paths and things like that and just give you a sense of how you can use the software to uh, complete the assignments in the class. As you'll see, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll definitely use some more advanced software packages, but this is a nice introduction to graphs and some of the things that we'll want to do with graphs in the class. Okay, so let's start with the layout of the software itself. Okay, this looks like a pretty standard IDE. Okay, we've got our file edit view type things. Uh, we've got overview windows, neighborhood. This will all be more or less straightforward when you see the kinds of things that we'll do. So uh, don't worry if you don't, if it's not immediately obvious what overview is now. It should be pretty obvious in just a few seconds. Um, what I want to start with is the palette here. The palette window right over here. Okay, if you notice, this gives us a series of different shapes and nodes that we can use and for various projects and things you may actually want to explore what some of these are. I like the basic nodes and the basic edge types which is for the most part what we'll be using today um, but just to give you a brief overview if you like slicker looking nodes you can always use something like this um, they have special purpose nodes, things like group nodes, people, right, if you actually want to represent nodes as, as people for a social network, say. Um, computer networks, you can actually use these icons if you think that this is more appropriate for the type of thing that you want to do. And, you know, you should feel free to explore these if there are things that you feel you can use in this class or another class, you should feel free to use them. For today, we're going to just focus on these basic shape nodes and the edge types, okay? And as we know, what we really care about when we're modeling a network are the nodes and the links. So that's really where we'll focus. This software actually gives you a lot of options for creating networks. And in just a second, we'll create our own. But one thing to keep in mind, if you go to Tools, you can actually create your own graphs, okay? And it gives you four options for doing this. Uh, those options are grid, okay, and it gives you a bunch of parameters you can use, and there you go, you have a grid. It gives you tree, okay, and we'll talk about uh, the specific definition of what a tree is, but for now, you can build something that looks like a tree, okay. Uh, you can also create a planar graph. Okay, something that might look like that, and you can create a random graph. Okay, now random graphs are something that we'll use quite a bit, so I want to spend a little bit of time taking a look at this, and we'll talk about this more formally next week. But a random graph basically is just um, nodes where, as you add links to nodes, you have an equal probability of the link pointing to any one of the nodes. Okay, so uh, these networks tend to have uh, certain types of properties that uh, we care about. Okay, so we're going to use random graphs a lot as sort of reference graphs, okay, because they have interesting properties. And you'll see as we start talking about this more, uh, random graphs will differ from the types of graphs that we see in nature. Okay, so this is something that you will want to start to wrap your head around and we'll talk about this a lot more as the course goes on but for today all I really want you to see is that you can create a random graph okay um, you can specify the number of nodes the number of edges you can decide if you allow cycles and self loops which you may not know what those things are right now 
uh, but you will in just a few weeks in the course. Okay, and you can generate as much of these things as you'd like. So that's one important thing. Once you have a graph, you can also affect the way it looks. Okay, so for example, if you go to layout, you can actually change the way the graph looks. Okay, now all of the links will be the same. All it's doing is just restructuring it according to some rules. Now one of the things that I want to point out is immediately in this structure, okay, with this layout, we can see things about the graph that we wouldn't really see in the automatic random layout. So for example, this is not a connected graph. Notice node 3, node 14, and node 1 are not connected to anything. Okay, as you'll see, that's something that we'll really care about as we start talking about networks. So one of the things that I want you to get at this tutorial is when you start to analyze a network, it's definitely handy to change the layout. Right? Automatically change the layout. See what it looks like as you start fiddling with it. And the more you do that, you'll start to learn other things about that network, things that may not be obvious with the first layout. Okay, again, here's another example of having multiple uh, components that are not connected. And, and there are a bunch of different ways that you can reset this. Okay, and even one that's kind of cool is circular. Okay, you get a nice, a nice circle here out of this. So uh, again, generating random graphs and other types of graphs is something that we will do. And I want you to see that you can do that in this tool. Okay, so the create graph tool is something that is uh, is worth checking out and then the different layouts that you can use is also something that you can use um, to learn about the graph that you're studying okay and you'll see that these are features of all of the tools that we will use it's just that this tool is a little bit more straightforward than those so I want you to get used to those ideas before we start dealing with some of the software packages that are a little more complicated okay well We've generated this. Let's select all, and I'm going to get rid of this guy. 